Well, YSK is a, um, a platform to promote and encourage science, technology, innovation. We have something very rare in this country amongst our youth. They have a high sense of creativity, a passion for being resourceful, an ability to understand our na national contextual issues. And today what we witness are young people who have gone out of their way from all over Kenya, from 11 counties, to demonstrate solutions for social, economic and environmental issues. Indeed, this is something that is incredibly important for us at this particular stage of our development as we try to promote the development of Vision 2030 and the Big Four. Many of the projects that we've seen today are uh, possible solutions and we believe that we need to push this age of innovation down. Young students at the age of 16, 17 are demonstrating tremendous capacities towards finding solutions for this country. Going forward, we'd like to see how some of these solutions can be commercialized and applied to both our social and economic environment. Young Scientist Kenya is a unique platform in Kenya and Eastern Africa, a platform that has been launched and has been given to students to showcase their different scientific talents here in Kenya and beyond. Now, this is a project that has been supported by President Uhuru Kenyatta as well as the CS for Education, Amina Mohammed. And in a bid to support and promote this unique initiative, the government has disbursed 1.3 billion shillings to see that this unique platform has gone far and beyond. So we are at the exhibition room where different students have converged from different schools just to showcase their different scientific projects. So we will be talking to a few students, you know, just to get the feel of what they think and how they feel about this unique platform. I'm Peter Moreti. And I'm Solomon Ambo. All right. So uh, what do you have for us? Uh, what's this uh, unique project that you have for us today? Uh, what you have for you is uh, it's an automatic cloth line. Uh, it is performed to move your clothes to a shelter whenever it rains and back when the rain stops. And it also has a photo resistor that helps, you, uh, helps it determine whether it's dark. So when it gets dark, the clothes move into a shelter. Yeah. So we can have it as a simulation for it as my friend tries it. Okay, let me just yeah. simulate... Uh, Presenting a project in the YSK for exhibition, a project by the name Internet Based Energy Monitoring and Audit Management System. This is simply a meter that, con that measures the energy consumption parameters and uh, displays them on a, dis on a L an LCD display and uh, sends the information to an open link so one can easily retrieve the, link, the information from there so no need for auditing personnel or uh, our companies to employ auditing personnel to come to individual houses. Now, over time, in Kenya, the auditing of power and its management has become a problem because basically if you see the power companies, they have been sending people to individual houses to audit power. And now we find that this is expensive because they have to pay the, the audit personnel some salaries and also allowances. And they also have to incur transport costs. Also, the meters that are used currently are not that efficient because they just show you the accumulative power. You cannot be able to follow up on how you use the power. So we came up with a device that can show out and gives access to the consumer to know how he's using the power and also to control it. So our system is a, a, a meter that can use a variety of sources, can use the AC, the DC and other sources of power. So Amen. basically <coughs> It is just meant to help one conserve and control how it's using the power. In addition to what you said, with our system you can control your appliances in the house using your phone. So it also keeps in touch with your electricity status.
a successful and colorful event that was at the KICC, an event that has seen a different channels opened for young scientists around Kenya. Well, they've gotten a chance to showcase their different scientific innovations, and this is a big win for all young scientists in Kenya. Now, those were the overall winners for today's event. That is from Nakuru County, Nakuru Boys High School, who get a chance to travel to Ireland next year and have as well walked away with 100,000 Kenyan shillings. Well, we look forward for the next big event next year uh, where young science uh, scientists will converge and showcase their different innovations. Reporting for Ebru TV, my name is Wanjiro Maina.